Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. So just before we start, I want to say a quick message and say that I highly respect all of these artists and that the point of the series is not to show you guys how to directly copy them, but rather use elements and show you how to create a certain style and bring that into creating your own style. So in saying that, please leave a like and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another editing tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be checking out travel and adventure videographer slash photographer Sam Calder and the way he edits these travel and lifestyle photos. So as you can see, Sam has traveled throughout the world and has captured amazing moments in doing so. And if we just look at his style, he seems to capture a lot of the teal and orange color schemes that you see in many cinematic videos, obviously in relation to his video editing style. He also seems to have very dark and rich blacks with high contrast in his photos. So I'm just going to jump over to Lightroom. I've downloaded a few photos of his just to use as references. So again, and we can see that there's a strong contrast between the blue and oranges in these photos. So we're going to try and replicate this in my own photos. I'm going to use this photo of Matthew as the main picture and then we'll save the preset and apply them to all the other photos as I've done in previous tutorials. So today I'm going to start off with the tone curve. As you can see in Sam's photos he doesn't really have any fade at all. So what we're going to do is just bring down and keep that standard S shape that I have been doing in all of my photos so far. Looking at the highlights he doesn't really seem to fade it out that much much if we look at this white area over here it is very close to the white background that we have here as well so I'm gonna keep that just how it is and not fade out the highlights at all I'll adjust the tone cover a bit later but for now that looks all good I'm gonna switch up the order of things that I do in this tutorial just because he focuses a lot on his colors so I'm gonna go over to the color spectrum over here and start working on the color scheme so that you guys can see what I do with the hue and saturation so I'm gonna go to the HSL and go down to the hue and obviously as we've already established he uses a lot of and oranges in his photos so I'm gonna bring the yellow hue all the way to the left to orange and I'm gonna bring the greens all the way to the yellow I'm gonna bring the aqua all the way not all the way slightly halfway to the blue purplish side I'm gonna bring the blues into that teal turquoise kind of color like that and then lastly I forgot about the reds we're just gonna bring the reds over a little bit to the orange we don't want to make it too orange because if we look at the skin tone of Matthew we can kind of see that it makes him go very green which we don't really want so we're going to keep it about halfway and that looks good for now already we're starting to get that orange blue split toning between the photos another thing that people really don't know about if we go down to the camera calibration this is where you can really get that orange blue split so if you go to the blue primary um, camera calibration if we bring this over to the more turquoise we can see how it starts to affect the colors even more dramatically and even just already we are already starting to get that look almost spot on something that's just annoying me is the crop of this photo so i'm just going to press r on my keyboard and rotate it just a bit because it kind of looks skew so that looks a bit better i'm happy with that and then i think the camera calibration is all good he doesn't use any grain or anything on his photos i don't think not that i can see right now obviously in the stars there is put a bit of grain in to try and bring out the detail in the sky but for the most part, he doesn't seem to use any grain in his photographs. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to go up to the basic settings and bring the contrast up a bit. As we've said already, he uses quite a bit of contrast. I think maybe around 25 would be good. Just looking at his shadows, I think that he does bring it up a bit, but he keeps the contrast by bringing the blacks down as well. So I'm going to bring the shadows up, but I'm going to bring the blacks down just a bit to keep that color contrast. If we look at clarity, I think this picture is already quite sharp and the images that he takes, the way he takes his photographs is a very low depth of field. So he likes to keep the aperture quite high so that he can get the background and the foreground in focus at the same time. So the picture is already really sharp and really clear. So I don't think that he needs to use that much clarity on his photos but it seems that he might just bring it up a little bit so i'm really not going to push it too high maybe just on five would be good for now the vibrance you can bring up the vibrance just a little bit and bring down the saturation just to balance that out a bit so the vibrance will make the colors that aren't standing out pop more and the saturation will just balance that out so if we go to like 40 and minus 20 that looks good for me 
Also, I feel like there's not really enough blues in this photo, so I'm gonna take the temperature and just bring it down. Oh, that's a bit much. I'm gonna take the temperature and bring it down just a little bit, and by doing this, you can affect the amounts of blues and oranges in the pictures. Uh, this is also because we've already established the two different color tones in the photos with the camera calibration. So if you bring the temperature all the way up, then it'll go very orange. Obviously, if you bring it down, it'll go very blue. So as I said, I just wanna bring it down very little bit just to bring a bit more blue in the photo so that looks good to me i think that i'm gonna bring the whites up actually just to brighten the picture up a bit more i don't think the exposure needs to change and by looking at that this is looking pretty good already the saturation of the picture i'm gonna bring the blue saturation up just a little bit as well as the aqua i don't think anything else in the photo needs to be brought up that much maybe the orange is just a little bit that's all looking good right there Looking at the luminance, I don't think you need to be changing this too much. Obviously, each picture will be different. Each lighting situation will be different. So you can just adjust this accordingly. I think I am just going to bring the blues up a little bit, though, just because of how Sam has done it in his photos where it's very light. Looking at his photos now, though, I see that his blues are actually very desaturated. Apart from this photo, his blues are quite desaturated. And if we go back to his Instagram feed, we can see that most of the blues are actually desaturated, apart from when he's in really tropical areas or in swimming pools in Dubai like this, where it looks really cool. So I'm actually going to desaturate the blues just a bit instead of saturating it. I know that completely contradicted myself, but after looking at it a little bit closely, I think this is what he might be doing. In terms of the split toning, I there's very, very slight split toning in these photos. I can see over here that there might be a little bit of blue as we did last week with Samuel Elkins as well. So I'm just gonna put a bit of blue in the shadows and bring it down even just a bit more than that because it really is subtle. For the highlights, it doesn't really look like there is that much split toning. There might be a bit of pink slash orangey colors in there, but for the most part, it doesn't really look like there's a lot in the highlights. So I'm gonna go over to a pinkish reddish kind of of color maybe over there but i'm also just going to bring that right down to about two because it really is subtle and just looking at that already it looks pretty good i'm going to save this as a preset so how to save stuff as a preset is you can just click on the plus arrow over there on your presets and type in the new presets i'm just going to say sam calder tutorial and save that in the user presets and that all looks good so now if we go over to the user presets we can see that there is a sam calder preset and if we click on all of the other photos make sure that auto sync is on and we can click on the preset again click on sam calder tutorial so already we can see that signature sam calder look of the blue and oranges in the photos i'm still just going to bring the temperature down just a little bit to keep the blues in the photo that might be a bit much as well there we go that's looking pretty good i'm gonna bring the exposure up a bit and bring down the highlights also straighten it out a bit so press r on my keyboard and then just rotate it a bit and that is looking good so the last photo i'm going to check out for today is the shot i took in town of my feet hanging off one of the buildings and compare it to the shot sam took in new york which is obviously a lot better than mine but Cape Town is still amazing in its own way. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure of this picture by clicking the plus sign on my keyboard. That's looking pretty good over there, just to bring up the shadows in the background. But obviously, as you can see, my shoes are pretty blown out at the moment. So I'm gonna bring the highlights right down and also I'm gonna bring the whites back to zero. So that's looking a bit better now, but the shoes are still a bit overexposed. So I'm just clicking on the little brush adjustment tool here and brushing over it. My shoes look very dirty right now, but it's okay. <laughs> and just do both shoes just to get everything over there bring the exposure up and then bring the highlights of that down till it looks a bit better there we go that is looking all good we can click down over there and if we compare it to sam's picture he has desaturated the blues quite a bit as you can see in this photo so i'm going to bring down the blues as well and see how that looks that is very dark and i'm going to bring the luminance up as well of the blues there we go that's looking a bit closer to the picture now it might even be a bit too much and he still has the oranges saturated quite a bit in the photo so i'm going to bring the oranges up a bit more but as i was saying earlier as you can see in his photo his background is very very much in focus 
in comparison to mine i shot this on 2.8 and he probably shot this on about f16 at like 16 mils or something so it makes quite a difference to the style of his photography and the way he edits it so just keep that in mind for when you're taking photos as well but all in all i think we were pretty successful with this editing tutorial please let me know what you think and if there's anything that i missed or anything that you would change in this editing style but if you guys did enjoy it please let me know and let me know down in the comments if there's anybody else that you would like to see i am always willing to try new people and check out new styles and just share with you guys what i know about editing and what i know about lightroom and photography and all of the things so again thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please leave a like if you are new around here hit the subscribe button and in the meantime stay weird don't die and i will see you guys in the next one